Have you been asking yourself all of your life, what is my life purpose? What am I here to do? So we all have a purpose. We all come into, into this world with a purpose. And then you've been, you just start, still can't figure it out. You still just don't know what your purpose is. If you are, you are an incredible human being, you're a multidimensional being, and you've come onto this earth to learn experiences, to learn what your purpose is. And when you come into this world, when you birth into this world, your memory is erased. You do not remember who you are and what you're here to do. And you have guides. You have a guardian angel who's always there guiding you every single bit of the way. No matter how frustrating it is, no matter how heartbreaking it is, whatever's been happening in your life so far, you chose that. Your soul chose that. Your soul chose all these different things that you've experienced in your life to help you to remember your soul purpose, to remember who you are and why you're here on earth. And earth school is so hard. Earth school is not easy. So you are a warrior. You've already won. Because every time you've, you've hit rock bottom, every time something's happened, you've always had that determination inside you to carry on. It's always been there. Just when you think, oh my God, I can't carry on anymore. You've got that determination and you've sold it on. And you've kept asking that question. Oh my, what am I here to do? What is my purpose? Because you haven't been, you haven't felt that fulfillment in your life, that deep happiness in your life. You've just been wandering around, doing things, following the crowd, not really knowing what it is you're here to do. So these steps that you've been shown, these experiences that you've had, you're meant to have those to figure out why you're here. This is this is the whole plan. You've probably not been paying attention up till now. Exactly all these different things that have been happening to you. They're guiding you. They're like this, this, this step by steps guiding you every single day, every single year, every single month. But you've probably not been paying attention. You just don't know why. So when you've been paying attention, have you looked back on what you've experienced and you go, oh my goodness, I know why that happened. I had to go through that heartbreak to get me where I am today. To, to, I had to learn that because you have experiences to learn. And if you're not learning these experiences that you've been shown, if you're not learning, you'll be showing them continually, continually, continually showing and maybe you've had to have a massive, something massive happen to you to get you to wake up, to start paying attention. Because that's what happened to me too. I had a massive car accident. I nearly lost my life. I crashed into this huge big lorry. And I just, I don't remember how it, how it happened because of my unconscious blocked it out. So I wouldn't experience the trauma of it. But I just saw myself hurtling towards this lorry. And I couldn't do anything with my car to stop where it was happening. It was just, and then when I came round, I could see the front of the lorry straight in front of me. I could put my hand out to touch that front of that lorry. And I thought, oh my goodness. And the driver of that lorry came to see me in hospital. And you know what he said to me? He said, I had a man next to me when you crashed into my lorry. And he'd survived pancreatic cancer. It's one of the, the cancers that are not easily survivable. And he survived it. And he said, an angel saved me. And today an angel saved this girl. And I truly believe that. You see, your guys and angels are always there. They will help you. They will guide you. And they will show you things. And they will, they will really show you if you're not paying attention. And this is what made me realize, oh my goodness, I'm not really paying attention in my life as to what I'm being shown. So then after that, after that, I started to pay attention. I started to pay attention exactly what it is was happening in my life, how I was thinking, how I was feeling. Because what is stopping you from your purpose, from knowing who you are, is your heart. You've blocked off your heart. You see, your heart can speak to you. Your heart is 
what you get what is full of love. And so you've blocked that love. You've blocked that love for yourself. You've blocked the love for the world. And so you, you cannot know what your purpose is until you unlock your heart to love again. That love that's in there, that you've not connected with for so many years. Because all of your life, you've experienced things. You've probably been bullied, put down, not been made to feel good about yourself. Lots of things can happen that can, you can you ha shut your heart down to love for yourself. And all this can happen in, in childhood. A lot of things happen in childhood, up to from the ages one to seven years old. You create all of your beliefs about yourself, about the, about the world, about you. And when you've been put down for so many years, when you've been bullied for so many years, when you've not been given enough love and attention and hugged as a child. As a child, you don't know how to handle that. You don't know how to handle that rejection because all you want is love. You just want to be loved. You're not getting that. You're not getting enough of that. You, you help, you, you're really in the, living in your home. You've probably been taking care of others because your caregivers they weren't happy, they weren't love, they didn't feel love, and they weren't giving you any love. So you were trying to help them and give them love. And so you've complete, completely blocked off your heart to loving yourself because you didn't feel like you were worthy of having love because you never received it before. You never received enough of it. So now you don't believe that, that you're worth loving. So you've blocked off your heart. Your heart has got this massive wall around your heart. And when you have this massive wall around your heart, you don't know the direction in your life. You don't, you don't understand your feelings about your, you cannot connect to your purpose because of your, this closure in your heart. And so you have to open up your heart again. Learn to open up your heart to love, to loving yourself and letting go of the hurt and the pain that's in there. You probably don't realize how much hurt and pain is in there because you're not connected with it before. And trust me, it's in there. I never knew I had so much hurt and pain in my heart over the last couple of years. You hold it within your nervous system, you hold it, and you just don't know it's there because it's hidden away until you start revealing revealing this, this hurt and this pain. You have to connect with yourself, to connect with this hurt and this pain. Connect with all the different ages of you that are still hurting. They're still in pain right now. They're still hurting. All the different ages of you are still there, still feeling that pain because you're an, a multidimensional energetic being. You take away this body and you're just energy. So all these parts of you are still out there. There's still energy around you. There's still energy in your body. And when you can connect with all those different parts of you, connect with that hurt and that pain and relieve that pain, this is when you can start breaking down those walls around your heart and opening up your heart. Because you manifest from your heart space, not from your ego, from your mind. You manifest from your heart space, the love in your heart, your self-worth. So when you, when you can feel that safety within your body, you can... Feel that love within your heart again. Then you will start to begin to know what your purpose is, what you're here to do. It will be revealed for you because it's all buried inside of you, but you have to let go of the hurt and the pain first before that you know what your soul purpose will be revealed to you the more that you do that. And you connect more with, with your soul and what you're here to do. And you can hear... You can hear your soul talking to you. You can feel your heart talking to you. That heart that's full of love again. You know that, that your, what your purpose is. You have to open up your heart. You have to connect with that pain and that hurts in your heart. Otherwise, you will not, will not know what your purpose is. You won't find out what it is until you do that. So I hope this video has helped you. If you want to let me know your experiences in the comments, um, if anything like this has happened to you 
um, on your path to find your purpose. And if you like my video, click that like button and click that subscribe button where you get notified when I post more videos. So I'm sending you so much love and I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.